Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really fantastic day thus far. And so of course we'll be taking a look at what is happening across the tropics. We'll be looking at both the Pacific and Atlantic basins. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell if you haven't yet done so, so that you never miss an important update. And so guys, as we go ahead and return to this uh, imagery here, of course, uh, this is the Eastern Pacific. And uh, we can definitely see where there is quite a bit of convective activity, especially along the itch or the intertropical convergence zone. And so uh, we see those blobs of showers and thunderstorms. Now, why does activity always tend to happen here? So what happens is that the itch is the zone where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And and so when they do, of course, we're talking about the tropics uh, near the equator. And that is an area that receives the direct rays of the sun. And we're going to eventually have warming taking place. And what happens to warm air? It rises. And so as altitude increases, uh, as we're going to be having all that vapor uh, ascending into the troposphere, what's going to be happening is that uh, it is going to be cooling and condensing to form clouds. And eventually we have these thunderstorms developing. And that is how the itch or the intertropical convergence zone works. And uh, that's why we're seeing all this activity taking place right now. And even over in the Pacific, uh, things are pretty warm right now. And so that is also uh, helping to fuel that activity. Going over into the Atlantic Basin, we're not seeing where too much is happening right now. Uh, some frontal systems dissipating out in the open waters. Uh, we see that blob of activity over Louisiana right now, likely bringing some uh, very inclement weather conditions. And uh, as for the Caribbean, there isn't too much happening. And out in the Atlantic, uh, along the itch there as well, we also see that development of showers and thunderstorms. So let's take a closer look at the area. So looking at the Caribbean, we can see here that there isn't too much happening. A bit of activity noted over parts of eastern Jamaica and also inland of Hispaniola. But for other areas, not seeing much beautiful sunshine. It's a pretty hot morning for most of us already. And uh, that's going to be the general trend. And I want to show you guys something in terms of that uh, later down in this video. So uh, looking now down into the vicinity of uh, northeastern South America and also parts of the uh, Lesser Antilles, the Windward Islands, we can see here that we have all this cloud cover over these areas down in northeastern South America, Venezuela. Uh, we also see some activity in uh, parts of Colombia that's seen there. And then also as we go to Guyana, uh, French Guiana, Suriname, we see these areas here uh, all receiving that all that cloud cover possibly with some showers and as i speak about that the area is expected to receive uh quite a bit of rainfall activity as we head throughout today so we'll be looking at the rainfall totals map very shortly but for the most part for the uh, eastern caribbean there are those patches of clouds uh those low level clouds moving in from the tropical atlantic and so that can result in some pattern showers as the day goes on and so I'll uh, going on to the rainfall maps. So we're going to be looking at what the Euro and uh, Icon models are expecting. And so of course this is measured in inches and the more colorful this map becomes, the higher the rainfall total expected. So we have the different colors or the shades of different colors with those values beside them uh, so that you know how much rainfall they show. So uh, throughout the Caribbean region we can see that uh, across sections of the Northern Caribbean there might be some showers as we had throughout today but going over into the West into on the northern Central American countries. We're not seeing much activity expected. Same story over in the northeastern Caribbean where we have Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands going to the Leeward Islands and uh, some of the Windward Islands as well. But of course for northern South America that is where the most rainfall is expected mainly along the northwestern and northeastern coast. So you guys down in Guyana, French Guiana, Suriname are likely to experience uh, more rainfall activity as the day goes on. Going on to the ICOM model similar story here where we're seeing in parts of northern South America expected to receive the most rainfall activity, but uh, mainly the northwestern and northeastern coasts. And then in terms of the Caribbean parts of the northern uh, region, but not seeing much over in the east nor the west expected. So things are pretty dry right now. And uh, as I speak about that, let's now go on to the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook map. And so this was issued on the 2nd of May. And uh, this is what is expected as we're going to be heading for uh, week two, where we have May 10th to the 
May 16th, and then week three from May 17th to 23rd. And so a uh, pretty long stretch here throughout majority of May. We can see that uh, if we look over in the Caribbean, we'll notice those shades of brown. Now that indicates below average rainfall that is expected. And uh, of course, that doesn't mean no rainfall activity. It simply means that there will be less compared to what is typical at this time of year for uh, those areas that are highlighted in that brown shade. Of course, the darker the brown, the higher that probability of seeing below average rainfall. And so guys, uh, that is what is happening. Of course, it is not to our pleasure for most of us because of course, that extensive dry period helps to induce droughts and even those wildfires which uh, affect the natural life and also our livelihoods. So it's not something very desirable, but unfortunately that is what is happening right now. And so of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated and uh, models specifically the GFS has been showing something pretty interesting and uh, I'll be talking about that in tomorrow's countdown video as we progress towards the hurricane season. So that is it for right now and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and remember to always be weatherwise.